making a quick Swiss roll uh, recipe today. So I've got six ounces of caster sugar, six eggs, and then six ounces of self-raisin flour. Um, I've never made Swiss rolls or haven't done for about ten years, but I've got one ordered, fresh cream and raspberry jam one ready for Christmas Eve. I'm going to whisk the um, eggs and sugar together for about ten minutes till they form sort of ribbons. <laughs> Next we've got to fold in our self-raising flour, so six eggs, six um, ounces of caster sugar, six ounces of self-raising flour. So here's the arty shot. You're currently on top of a bucket of rye flour, so you can see that is all da -da 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 -da. nice and um, come away from the bowl quite nicely. It looks like a really nice sponge mix jar which it is, but just no fat. So I've got my tray lined here. This is probably bigger than what you do at home, but I'm a baker, not a home cook. So I'm just gonna spread this out onto the tray. If you don't have a, like, a spatula like this at home, then a wooden spoon would be fine. But I'd recommend buying a, a spatula and um, investing in some good equipment if I were you. Bad workman blames his tools and all that. So that's all the mixture out. I'm just going to spread this thinly over the sheet. I've lined it with um, parchment paper, baking parchment paper. Palette knife would probably be a better tool for this job. Now my tray was a bit too big for the amount of mixture that I had. And so what I've done is, we've got, we got these little sticks at the bakery here. I don't know if you can see them. But um, the same width of the tray, and I've narrowed the length of the tray to tailor how much mixture I've got. So you can see that's fairly evenly spread all over the tray there. Um, and so I'm going to bake that now for 10 minutes and at 400 degrees. In fact, you can watch that on it in the oven if you want. So the oven's like four, yeah, it's about four fifty. So it's really it's quite hot. So I'll put it in um, as close to the door as possible. Like doing all this one-handed. There we are. And we'll shut the door. Pick it up again in 10 minutes. Okay, time for it to come out of the oven. Here's my trusty oven glove. Doing it one-handed, of course. And the light's not great, but you can see it's a nice golden color on top. Don't want it too dark, because we've got to roll this up in a minute. So, I'll pop it in the window to cool. down so I need to get this paper off the bottom of that so a little trick lay some more paper over the top and you can do this over tea towels if you have to and I'll put this um, other tray on the top as well and frankly I don't care if you can see or not but I'm just gonna twist that over don't panic if your um, Swiss roll breaks in the middle, because that's only the middle bit, and we're going to be covering that with jam and cream and all this sort of business. So 
I'm going to need to start the rolling. That's a little bit crusty on the outside, so I'm going to get my knife and just trim the edges. Because the more baked it is, the more brittle it will be. We want it nice and malleable. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold over this bit of silicone paper to start with. You can just about see that there. And then roll it up nice and tightly. This is still warm as well, so it makes it relatively easy to do. And I'm going to roll it up, and because I'm putting cream on it later, I don't want to put blooming cream on it now while it's still hot. But I'm going to unravel this later on, and then uh, put the cream on it then. Okay, so keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. All right, see that? It's like the world's biggest Swiss roll. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the inside. There we are, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Great, come back to it in about an hour. All right, got some jam, strawberry jam. Got a kettle, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of warm water onto that just to um, soften it down a bit. I'm just gonna pop it on the hob as well, just to uh, warm it up. Like warming your jam is a good idea. It makes it softer, much easier to spread on what is essentially a really sort of moist um, and feeble cake. So uh, you don't want it too wet, otherwise it'll just make the whole thing soaked in red jam. But uh, you just want this a little looser so it's easier to spread. Okay, see the consistency of that is a little uh, less solid and a little bit more fluid. I'm just going to spread that on relatively uneven. Now this is proper baker's red jam. Um, we sell all sorts of uh, finest preserves and whatnot. This is the sort of jam you get in donuts. And I've got a little review. It's my, my favourite mixed fruit red jam. And if you really want to go crazy, you can make your own, but I've only got 20 minutes today. Remember to, you want a nice bit on the, on the middle, because people are going to look for that middle straight away. So, I'll spread it like that. Not too thick, but don't be too tight either. I'm never tight until it comes to money. I don't think there's many better combinations, is there, than jam and fresh cream? And you're watching this in real time, just in case you'll notice that uh, I'm filming myself. And also, this is my first attempt at this exact product. I think I remember making some chocolate Swiss rolls for the Yule Logs about 10, 15 years ago maybe. It wasn't even at college, I don't think. And even that wasn't baking college, that was just Bournemouth College, uh, for a business course I did. So this is like the first time I've ever done it. And with no formal bakery training. So you can do this easily, I promise. It's only a couple of ingredients, and pretty much any convenience shop will sell all of them. <clears throat> okay, so we rolled it, um, this way first, so this is the middle. I wish I was doing this this way, it's much easier. So nice and tight. Don't worry about getting a bit of mess on your fingers. Use the paper to your advantage. Just lift it up, that'll help. Uh, There we go, so you can see what it looks like all the way around. And then the next stage. So I've just run, I've got some um, icing sugar and I'm just going to dust that all over. I 
Incredibly sharp knife, good. Sponge knife, look at it. And then I would personally just cut the ends off just to trim it off. Tidy it up. And, sorry, I just turned my camera off then. There you have my German cream Swiss roll. The only problem is, I'm not entirely sure what to do with these end bits here. Just had a thought. Just joking, lovely. Alright, I'll make some it else you another time.